why my feet are always cold and what to do about it. The weather. Feel like you're walking around on blocks of ice? It could be the temperature, especially if your hands are cold, too. When your core temp drops, small blood vessels in your hands and feet tighten up. This moves blood toward your organs to keep them warm. The less circulation in your hands and feet, the colder they get. Experiencing cold feet is normal from time to time. Changes in temperature, as well as health and lifestyle choices, are some of the most common causes of cold feet, and adjusting these factors will usually help relieve symptoms. In this video, we are going to share with you several medical causes of cold feet. A list home remedies people can try to keep the feet warm and comfortable. When to see a doctor. Before we continue, we want to welcome you to our channel. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell symbol so you don't miss any future videos we upload. And if you've already subscribed, thanks for your support. Without any further ado, let's get to the point. Stress. When your body goes into fight or flight mode, it saves energy just in case you have to deal with a threat. The body dumps adrenaline into your bloodstream, which can narrow blood vessels. That means less blood gets to your feet, which can make them feel cold. Poor circulation. Every time your heart beats, it sends blood throughout your body. But if you have a heart condition, smoke, or don't move around often, your circulation may be poor. This slows the flow of blood around your body and is one of the most common medical conditions that can trigger cold feet. Type 1 and 2 Diabetes. When your blood sugar is high often, your arteries narrow. This makes it hard for blood to get to your hands and feet. Diabetes can also lead to diabetic peripheral neuropathy, a condition that damages your nerves. It interrupts messages between your body and brain, so your feet may also feel prickly or numb. Anemia. This treatable condition happens when you don't have enough healthy red blood cells. They carry oxygen to all the tissues in your body. If your anemia is moderate to severe, your feet may feel cold. Hypothyroidism. Your thyroid gland makes hormones and sends them to your bloodstream. When it doesn't make enough hormones a condition called hypothyroidism or underactive thyroid you may gain weight, feel tired, and have cold feet. This is because your metabolism has slowed, which can affect body temperature. Raynaud's syndrome. Also called Raynaud's phenomenon or disease, this condition causes your body to overreact when you're exposed to cold water or air. The arteries that supply blood to your feet narrow, so normal amounts of blood can't get through. Your skin may also look blue or white. For some, stress can trigger Raynaud's. Peripheral neuropathy. If you have nerve damage from an injury or medical condition, your cold feet could be the result of peripheral neuropathy. It can start in your longest nerves, which go all the way to your toes. Diabetes is the main cause of polyneuropathy, meaning that many nerves are affected. Other causes of peripheral neuropathy include vitamin deficiencies and infections. Toxic exposure and kidney diseases can also lead to peripheral neuropathy. Peripheral artery disease, PAD. This condition is triggered by too much plaque on your artery walls, which slows blood flow. It's especially common in people 50 or older who have smoked or have diabetes. If you notice leg cramps, nail changes, or sores on your feet, ask your doctor about PAD. Home remedies. Working directly with a doctor to diagnose any underlying cause of cold feet is the best way to prevent the symptom as much as possible. However, many home remedies can help warm the feet and keep a person comfortable. Movement. Regular movement, such as getting up from a sitting position periodically, may help to treat cold feet. As simple as it seems, getting up and moving may be one of the easiest ways to warm the body and help blood flow to and from the feet. People who experience cold feet due to their desk job may benefit from getting up periodically and walking around the office. Getting blood circulating using cardio activities, such as jogging or even doing jumping jacks, may be enough to keep the feet warm throughout the day. Socks and slippers. Warm, well-insulated socks are important for people with cold feet. While indoors, it may also help to wear well-insulated slippers, especially if a person does not have carpeted or heated floors. Keeping the feet bundled up is a great way to help them stay warm and prevent any additional heat loss. Foot baths. One of the quickest ways to relieve cold feet is to soak them in a warm foot bath. Filling a bathtub or basin with warm water and soaking the feet for 10 to 15 minutes may be enough to keep fresh blood circulating to the feet throughout the day. This may be especially helpful just before bed, as it can also relieve tension and relax the muscles. People with diabetic nerve damage should avoid using hot water to warm the feet, as they may not be able to tell if the water is too hot or not. This can lead to accidental burns. 
heating pads or hot water bottles. For people who have trouble sleeping due to cold feet, placing a heating pad or hot water bottle at the foot of the bed can keep the area surrounding the feet warm at bedtime. Heating pads may also be helpful to help soothe sore muscles after a long day of standing. When to see a doctor. Although having occasional cold feet is normal, there are some instances when a visit to the doctor may be necessary. Anyone who experiences cold feet frequently or for no obvious reason should speak to their doctor about possible causes. A person should also speak to a doctor if cold feet are accompanied by other symptoms, including fatigue, weight loss or gain, fever, significant joint pain, sores on the fingers or toes that take a long time to heal, skin changes, such as rashes, scales, or thick skin. If the feet feel cold internally, but the skin does not feel cold to the touch, a person should see a doctor, as this may be a sign of nerve damage or other neurological conditions. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you have any question regarding why your feet are always cold and what to do about it, please share your concerns in the comments section. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon for more amazing health-related videos. Thanks for stopping by. See you in the next video.